from the roads you drive on to the hospitals you attend. An increasing number of public institutions around the world are being delivered through public-private partnerships. Greece has been a continental leader in its enthusiasm for them. Here to tell us about how such programs are being rolled out, Konstantin Stavridis, Nikos Mansoufas, and Eli Kakulu. Greece, of course, has been hard hit by the recession. Can you tell me how does a country stand to gain from the introduction of PPPs? Indeed, infrastructure projects are needed in the world to seem valid for Greece. Greece has a long history in PPP projects and bright future. And during the crisis, we actually, in the first semester of 2014, we actually achieved the financing of three projects being ranked fourth at the European level compared to GDP. So Greece have good prospects and we are hoping more and more projects to come to market. Our bank has been particularly interested in these projects. Banks in Greece have traditionally financed the public sector and the private sector, and PPPs have given us the opportunity to finance a combination of both with a well-balanced risk allocation, allowing us to finance private sector companies that can efficiently and effectively, with few time delays and fixed price date certain contracts, undertake these projects with a public sector angle of a steady flow of payments that will repay these projects. Our bank has particularly targeted all of these projects since their inception. And this year we're actually targeting four waste management projects that we hope to go ahead with in 2014 and 15. National Bank of Greece had a significant contribution to the country's PPP history, has been involved also in the latest generation of projects through its management of the Jessica UDF uh, Urban Development Funds. PPPs will give the opportunity to develop expertise in the country and uh, enhance the ability of our private-owned companies to uh, create a new market and uh, also expand abroad. Right. Now, Nikos, of course, we know that there have been a number of funds that have played a significant role in the execution of PPPs, one of them being the Jessica Fund. Tell me a little bit about it. The Jessica Fund was vital for the PPP projects that we have uh, financed this year. It was vital because of the scarce liquidity of the market and at the same time, it developed a unique structure at European level. The schools projects that we reached the financing was the first project at European level that combined Jessica funds, EIB loans, commercial banks, and private capital. This unique structure has been achieved and developed something that is quite unique and many other countries with liquidity issues will also follow. So the Jessica fund coming from European structural funds has become a very crucial and vital element for the financing of Greek projects. Now, from the perspective of commercial banks, Ellie, can you tell me, do you see the number of PPPs increasing? A lot of these projects have high capital expenditures, so commercial banks obviously are now better equipped to cover a greater proportion of these projects, but are still very happy to see the EAB and Jessica join them in these structures. And yes, all four systemic banks are very interested in moving these projects ahead. We've now undertaken the advisories for the waste management projects that we expect to mature in 2014 and 15, and we're very enthusiastic about going ahead with them. Now, I had a chance to speak with Minister Notis Mitrakis, and he had this to say about why it was more fiscally responsible to rely on PPPs than government funding for these types of projects. Let's take a listen. We believe that the private sector is a better executor for these projects we have passed the construction and financing risk to the concessionaire. That is important from our point of view because we can control the cost to the public offer of these projects. Historically, and that's not only the case in Greece but in many other economies, public projects have overrun in cost. With PPPs, this is now secured. Now, Nikos, of course, part of the funding that backed this project was 35.8 million euros that came from EIB. Now, that is a large amount of money, but also finite. What are you going to do five to ten years down the road when you have to continue to fund these schools? This is a very important element on this PPP structure. These are PPP structures that are for 25 years. The total amount of the value is 110 million euro. So the total development cost was 110 million euro, enabling and mobilizing also private investment and private banks. And all these payments will be repaid in the long run by the state through availability payments on what is called the typical UK PPP structure. That means that we are paying as public when the service and the building is delivered and only if the maintaining is being provided. Otherwise, no payments will be made. This will improve the projects and improve the state budget since it is paying for something that is 
being delivered. Now, one more thing that Minister Notis Mitarakis said was that these PP projects are eventually going to trickle down in terms of their impact at the municipal level. Can you tell me what sectors really stand to gain from such a move? In total, at the moment, we have projects in the pipeline of around 1 billion euro. These are in many sectors. One very important sector that involves municipalities is waste management. Greece is lagging behind in this sector and we are aiming through BPPs to deliver good projects, environmental projects. Another very promising sector is the rural broadband sector, bringing fast internet to many municipalities and areas around Greece, rural areas that cannot have access there. Recently we have a project of telematics at the urban transportation system, a project that is like the one in London, knowing where the bus is arriving, but this is a 12-year period project where the contractor is keeping it and maintaining over this long run. As a closing remark, I can say that the PPP structure can bring the best of all the worlds, of the world of the private sector, of the banks, and of the public. We do believe in that, making better projects for the public. Very exciting times, of course, for Greece with these PPP projects on the horizon. Nikos, Eli, Constantine, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much.